Hey everyone, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am Kimmy, and if you're new here, click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the fun. And today we're gonna have fun. Oh boy, do I have a big treat for you guys today. We are gonna have fun with this giant six pound zucchini. <laughs> it's huge. Crazy, right? Oh my goodness, my sweet neighbor found this guy in her garden and she's like, would you like this? She comes knocking at my door and I'm like, uh, yeah, hi. Six pounds, I weighed it. Six pounds, this is huge. They're supposed to be like little things and I actually love it when they get this big because with one zucchini I could make many recipes and that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to share with you, I don't know how many, I'm guessing between four or five if we could stretch it, great. Recipes for you today, to, what to do with zucchini. I know like people's gardens are like overflowing right now and this is when everyone's harvesting and freezing and baking and cooking up a storm. I'm excited for the recipes I'm going to share with you today. And they're all from the Zucchini Houdini by Brenda Stanley. I love, love this cookbook. Love it. So many good ideas, so many yummy ideas like desserts, soups, stews, casseroles, amazing things that you can do with a zucchini. I'm in love with this cookbook. I shared some recipes last year and I'll leave them down below. One of them was the zucchini pie. It tasted kind of like pumpkin pie. Oh, it is now turning to one of our favorites. I absolutely love it. Come along with me today as I share with you what to do with this big guy. Let's go. Okay, for the zucchini Italian bake, you are going to need one and a half cups of a Bisquick mix, a half cup of oil, four eggs beaten, or you can use one cup of egg substitute, a half cup of Romano cheese, I just got the Parmesan and Romano cheese, so I'm using that today, three cups of grated zucchini, one and a half cups of chopped onions, and a half cup of chopped green pepper, You'll need one clove of garlic, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, one fourth teaspoon of salt, a half cup of sliced mushrooms, and two cups of diced pepperoni. I use the thin, like, pizza pepperoni because I know my kids will eat this and the texture they'll be able to chew well. But use any pepperoni that you like. This is what I'm going for in this recipe. We're going to blend this together really well. Okay, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And the recipe says to blend well after each time adding a new ingredient in. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for one hour. Okay, here is the zucchini Italian bake. Let's cut this open and give it a taste. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, that is not bad at all. This is very flavorful, and I like the different textures in it. Mmm. Okay, thumbs up for the Italian bake. Yum. Okay, for the zucchini pumpkin bread, you are going to need a cup of butter or a stick of margarine, two cups sugar, three eggs beaten, one tablespoon of vanilla, one cup of grated zucchini, one cup of canned pumpkin, which is in here. I had some left over. Three cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, a half teaspoon baking powder, one, te one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one half teaspoon nutmeg, one half teaspoon cloves, and if you would like to use nuts, you could put a cup of 
chopped nuts in, but I'm leaving that out. Ignore the oil, it was for another recipe and it just stayed there. Okay, first thing, we're gonna cream together the butter and the sugar. Okay, and then we're gonna add all the other ingredients. I'm gonna add this to two bread pans. This makes two loaves of bread. Okay, I uh, sprayed two bread pans really well, and now I'm just gonna divide the mixture between the both of them. Okay, we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Oh, this is gonna make the house smell so good, I can't wait. Let's get this in the oven. Here is the zucchini pumpkin bread. Look how pretty the color is, that pumpkin. That looks so good. It is nice and moist, it's not dry. It smells so good, let's give this a shot. Oh yeah, wow that's good. I love that combination of the zucchini and pumpkin. That's really good you guys. Ooh, give this a shot, zucchini pumpkin bread. Okay, this next recipe sounded really good and that's the zucchini crab casserole. And you're going to need three to five medium zucchini sliced up, one and a half cups of Bisquick mix, one and a half cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese or American cheese, one cup of onions chopped, one cup of crab meat or, um, you know, or one six and a half ounce can of crab meat drained, You'll need a half cup of oil and three eggs, salt, pepper, about a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay, for this recipe, we're just gonna add all the ingredients in together. Okay, you're gonna grease a nine by 13 pan. Pour this in. Okay, we're gonna bake this at 450 degrees for 30 minutes or until golden brown. And if you put a knife in, it'll come out clean. This one I am so intrigued by. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's taste it. That one's not bad. This is really good. Ooh, that's good. I like this one. This is definite keeper. Yum. Okay, for the zucchini green chili cornbread, you're going to need two cups of cornmeal, two cups of flour, one half cup of sugar, two tablespoons baking powder, two teaspoons salt, two cups of skim milk, two thirds cup oil, two eggs beaten, one seven ounce can of diced green chilies. I have two four ounce cans, so I'll be using those, and two cups of grated zucchini and drain it really well. Combine that together. Okay, the recipe says to bake it like a casserole, um, in a casserole pan, but I'm not. I'm gonna do muffins. My family loves eating corbettes muffins, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
And if we have leftovers, of course we will. These are gonna make a ton. Um, we could freeze them, so that's nice. I think these are gonna be so good with like chili or um, even take them out on a taco night. So the recipe in the book has a little boo-boo. It doesn't put what the temperature of the oven should be. So I'm gonna say 350 degrees and it says to bake for 25 minutes or until it comes clean with the toothpick. So let's get these in the oven. I uh, filled up another pan so I have 24 corn muffins. Zucchini chili cornbread. Oh my word. Now I've already eaten one of these but I can tell you, very good. Derek liked it, I liked it, but I noticed, to me, it could have used a little something. Now, and it reminded me of the muffins from the restaurant Goodwood, and they have like a chili corn muffin, um, corn bread, and I noticed that they had like chopped up uh, red peppers, bell peppers in it, and I think that with this would be an awesome combination. So this by itself is so yummy, but the next time I make them, I'm gonna add some chopped red bell pepper to it. Okay, for the zucchini chocolate chip cookies, you will need three fourths cup shortening, one cup sugar, one egg or one fourth cup egg substitute, one teaspoon vanilla, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, a half of teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon cinnamon, one and a half cups of grated zucchini, and one cup of chocolate chips. So you're gonna drop a teaspoon onto an ungreased baking sheet and you're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Mmm, the zucchini chocolate chip cookies. These were good. And I was a little leery about it, so was Derek. He had one, he liked them. Not bad at all. And it makes three dozen, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is the last of that six pound of zucchini. I could have made another dish for you, but honestly, I'm exhausted. So what I'm gonna do is just save this up and make minestrone soup with it. I think I'm adding that to our meal plan for the week. So look at that. I could have made a whole other recipe with this. So I think that was success. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button. Thank you so much. I had so much fun today. The recipes are yummy and this is our dinner tonight. All these zucchini recipes. So that's what we're going to be eating for dinner. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. And if you have a favorite zucchini recipe, put it down below. I would love to know what you do with all your zucchini. All right, thanks for joining me today, guys. We'll see ya. Bye.